Hello everyone. By now you have studied about graphs. So here we are considering the graph, acceleration time graph, velocity time graph and distance time graph for free fall case. Right? So for that let's take a case when an object is thrown, it is dropped from some height. Right? Let's consider this point as origin. The object is falling down. Concept here is that the up motion is taken positive and the down motion is taken negative. Right? So if we consider this as origin, so this will be a down motion. So you can say if we discuss the position of this ball when it reaches the ground this position would be minus y right and acceleration is acting in the same direction this is a case of free fall free fall means motion under gravity right so here this acceleration is also acting downwards so i'm taking it minus g Right? So both are along the same direction. That's why when this body is dropped from this point towards the ground, the velocity of the body increases. Now let's come to the graphs. These graphs I will draw like this. As given in your NCRT, we will follow the same method. But sometimes the students are confused. That why are we drawing it like this? So this I am drawing for the first case, that is the acceleration time graph. This I am drawing for the second case, that is VP graph. And this I am drawing for the third case, that is distance time graph. For this, we must know the equations of motion. Now this object is dropped from here, so the initial velocity will be 0. So if we look at the equations, we know the standard equations V is equal to U plus AT. Right? Distance is equal to UT plus half AT square. And V square is equal to U square plus 2AS. Now here, acceleration is how much? Minus G. Right? And here... We can take this V and U is 0 over here. So I can write it minus GT. Right? Next equation. This is distance. So I can write distance is Y. Right? I am not talking about the position. So we can say here that distance is Y. And U is 0. So this part is 0. G is minus G, A is minus G, so this I can write minus half G, T square. Right? And then V square is equal to, this is 0, minus 2G. How much is the distance here? Distance is Y. We are considering here position. In this case. Here this is the position. With respect to O. So that's why this minus y is written. But if we talk about the distance, this distance will be y. Right? So I hope this is clear. Now we know that from this equation, we can draw the graph for velocity. Velocity is directly proportional to time. If this is the time axis, this is the velocity axis, then I can say that this is the graph for velocity. Now from here, we know that the acceleration is V upon T. Acceleration is given by the slope. So G, magnitude of T is V upon T. That is slope. This is constant. So therefore G is constant, right, for places near the earth, right. If you look at this, Y is proportional to T square, right? So T square means our graph will be like this. 
right? So this will give us position time graph. We know, we remember the shape of the position time graph for uniform acceleration, right? You can compare it using that graph. This was negative acceleration for position time graph, but it was acceleration, if you remember this, right? And then we have this acceleration time graph. This acceleration is g actually here and g is constant near Earth's surface. So that's why I will draw a line. Which is parallel to the time axis. Here this is time, this is distance and here this will be a line parallel to the time axis. This is all about the graphs under free form. Right? That's all for now. Thank you.